Okay, thank you for choosing Chison EB series. Now, uh, today this video will show you how to use our 4D functions. Okay, first, when we get a appropriate 4D images, uh, photo center play like this. Okay, then we press 4D key here, press it, and you can get the, our interesting box like this. We can use uh, move our trackball to move the position of this interesting box and press enter key you can change the size of this interesting box okay you can see here we have a update key press it you can change the curve line okay make sure the curve line is above the fatal face one centimeter or 0.5 centimeters and uh, once you all do this adjustment you press left key and you can get the 4D images like this. And here we have different parameters. Here, for example, this is for layout for 4B mode, 2B mode, and one single B mode like this. And we can change the different uh, showing directions of these factor images like this. Okay. And uh, here. This is for the cine loop, and here is for the 2D parameters. For example, this is for the background brightness. You can change the background brightness. And uh, for this images brightness, like this, just change it. And uh, also, this for the contrast position of the images, and this is for the 4D, also in the 4D same way. And uh, here, you can see we can change the smooth of the fatal image. Just press this correspond corresponding button here. We can change the smooth of the, the fatal face, and uh, also we can change the threshold. Just rotate this button, okay? Like you can see the difference uh, for the 4D image, and we have different render for the image for depth view, surface skeleton, and for vessel. Different render, and we also can zoom these images for the wing and zoom out. Just rotate this button. Okay, also we can change the palette like you need. And here you can change if you want, once you activate the virtual HD function here, just press it. You can activate the virtual HD function and we can change the light source here for the light, different light position to make the image more vivid. And uh, also, you can see here these parameters for the status of the tr uh, trackball. Here you can see we have the curve line status, panning status, and the light status. You can see we press menu key to change for different status. For example, for curve line, here you can see we can press AIO button here to change the status for the ROI interesting box, you can use your rotate this key to change the ROI interesting box size for different XI position for X, Y, Z. Press it to change to Y, XI, and rotate it to change. And uh, also we press menu key again, change to penny mode. Then you can use your trackball to move the panning position like this and uh, press again to change to light. Then you can use your trackball to change the position of the light source like this. Okay, once you get your uh, a suitable, uh, suitable images and you press this key to save factor image and here to save the cine loop. 
Okay, this is for the 40 training for EBIT series today. Thank you.